Welcome to From the Den Podcast, providing Bears and NFL fans alike with compelling news, discussion, and debate. I'm your co-host, Benjamin, joined alongside my dear friend and co-host, Or. Hey, Benjamin. Let's get right into it. As always, kickoff starts now. Now we're just going to get into the topic of will versus should, meaning what will happen in week one, who will get the starting job, and who do you think should get the starting job instead? Oren, you can take it away again. So let's start with should. I think Mitchell Trubisky should get the starting job. Now, I think that Nick Foles is a great player, and I think that Nick Foles very likely could be better than Trubisky. But also, when it comes down to it, what's the point of even still having Trubisky if you're not going to give him another chance? Trubisky is a player that has all the skills. Maybe Nick Foles does elevate his game, and you're putting a good player. I think if Trubisky does, Nick Foles does elevate Trubisky's game, I think that Trubisky is a better quarterback than Nick Foles. Because Trubisky has all the intangibles. He has all the skills. He's just not great at reading defenses. He doesn't make great decisions. And Nick Foles, he has solid skills, but he's good at reading defenses. He understands Matt Nagy's offense really well. And I think that if you combine, Trubisky can't make Nick Foles a better quarterback or that much better because Trubisky can't give Nick Foles his arm strength or his, or his speed. But Foles can give Trubisky his knowledge of football. He can help Trubisky out when it comes to learning how to read defenses. Right. And you can't he, teach skill. You can't really yeah. teach skill. That's the old adage. Yeah, you can't, you can't teach, teach skill. Speed. You can teach learning how to read defenses. Yeah, exactly. And I think that if Trubisky plays bad, bench him. Fine. But Foles is not here. He's not going to get upset if Trubisky starts. Because all that does is that puts a fire under Foles. If Foles isn't starting, he wants to get in there. He's going to work harder to get in there. And it's not like, for example, Rodgers, who's, going to, who's upset that they have a backup quarterback, who's someone that's trying to replace him. Foles, I'm not saying, obviously, he's not happy with it, but he understands it. He's been a backup his whole career. He's not going to think study. Trubisky understands it, though. I mean, we can't decide, certainly. But what do you think Trubisky's thought process behind this is right now? This is? I think this he whole, thinks that, that – I need to losing work. faith in the Bears organization. Yeah, I need to work so hard because I'm the Bears organization is starting to lose faith in me, and I have to play so much better. I have to play so much better than a starting quarterback just to even get my role as a starting quarterback. And I think that that might might put too much pressure on him, and he might flop under it. But also, you could say that maybe he has an added fire under him, and he starts to play really well. And I think that if you start off with Trubisky and he starts to do poorly, fine, bench him. I get that Trubisky might not be happy with it, but who cares at this point? He's not even your quarterback anymore. The, once you bench him, he's out of Chicago. The second wow. he's benched, he is out of Chicago. Unless Foles gets injured and Trubisky comes in and does great, but I really doubt that that'll end up happening. I think that the second Trubisky is, is benched, I think that he is out of Chicago. What if... What if Foles starts week one and then plays badly? You still think Trubisky's out of Chicago or only yeah. once Trubisky gets the start and then loses he's it? out of Chicago the second he is not starting wow. the offensive team. I okay. think Trubisky is a guy who goes off of confidence. He's a guy who... Yeah, he gets... Uh, he's, he's a guy flustered. who... Yeah, he's a, type, he's a type of person who, if he has a bad game, a very bad game. If he has a good game, he has a very good game. There's not a lot of in-betweens for him. I feel like it's bad or good. And it's saying like last year was leaning way towards more towards the bad. In 2018, it was like a little bit in the middle. But my point is, is that he's a guy who goes off of confidence. And I can't imagine him being benched and then coming back in will be able to do well. Well, just, one worry I have is Trubisky, it's not like Trubisky plays so well when everyone's criticizing him or when he needs to step up. I don't think Trubisky is very clutch, first of all. And second of all, with the whole controversy with, Mitchell Trubisky saying he wanted to shut off all the TVs in Soldier Field because of the people criticizing him. That didn't help him so much. So I'm not really sure if I, I – I do not trust Trubisky's abilities to maneuver under pressure and create self-confidence when others are doubting him. So I, I will get into this later, but what do you think? 
you think that well, I need to get to what I think what they should do, but what they will do. And I know this is surprising. I think Nick Foles will start week one, which is surprising because most people will probably say the Bears should start Nick Foles week one and Trubisky will start. But I think Foles will start and Trubisky should start. For the fact that if you look at Ryan Pace's acquisition, acquisitions, who they added this, who they added this offseason, they're in a win-now mode. Instead of keeping Leonard Floyd in a position that he could develop. Now, don't get me wrong. I think he could develop. They signed for more money, just a bit more. And I like the signing. Don't get me wrong. Robert Quinn, who's 29 years old. Instead of keeping Leonard Floyd, who has all the skills, I think he just needs him to develop. They brought in Robert Quinn. They're trying to win right now. They signed to Sean Gibson. Win right now move. They got Nick Foles. Win right now move. They, they got Ted Ginn. Win right now move. They, they drafted Jalen Johnson. I get that may not be a win now win right now move, but the fact that they signed Artie Burns and they still have Kevin Tolliver and they signed Trey Roberson, that's all a win now move. They want the best player to come out of it to start. They're trying to have competition at that position, just like they're trying to have competition at every position. So if you look at it, the Bears are trying to win right now, and the Bears don't believe that Trubisky can win right now. Now, what I'm, I'm not saying is that I think that Ryan Pace still thinks Trubisky can be a good quarterback. He can. But I think Ryan Pace is saying, if we're trying to win now, we can't have Trubisky playing there making mistakes. And I think that Ryan Pace, in a few days, we're going to talk about the fifth-year option in a bit, but I think that Ryan Pace will not pick up his fifth-year option. And I think that's because he's lost faith in Trubisky. If you look at it, Ryan Pace seems like such a seems like a guy who talks about how much he loves Trubisky. Seems like he's in love with Trubisky, like he thinks he's a great quarterback. But really, he knows that they're trying to win right now. Their offense got better this this off season. Their defense got better this off season. They are really, really, really believe that they can do something this year, and I do too. I think that they can, but that's not what we're talking about right now. I think that this move to get Nick Foles was a win now move. And they're not going to keep someone who they're paying $8 million. I get that's not a ridiculous amount for a backup quarterback, but that's still a solid amount of money. They're not going to keep someone who they're paying $8 million a year on the bench for more than a game. That's, I think that they won't. Now, I really hope that they, that they start Trubisky and see how it goes. Because worst comes to worst, he plays bad and their defense saves them. I think that – I hope that the first few games are easier – are easy games – like they were last year. And I think that if they play some easy games to begin with, that's when you start Trubisky. Because you know that if you start Trubisky and he plays poorly against those teams, then you know that Nick Foles is your guy. But if he starts to play well, then you can slowly start to gain confidence in Trubisky again. Got it. All right, my turn for the should versus will. Starting with should. I think there are a bunch of different options that you have to weigh here for who should start. I agree with what you were saying about why Trubisky should start. It makes sense to just keep him on a short lease, le- to keep him on a short leash. And once he makes a mistake or once he does something inexcusable, they can just take him out and put in Nick Foles. But I think that, that could also ruin their momentum a lot. And that's why it would be advantageous for them to start Nick Foles right away instead of having Trubisky, who is so risk prone. That's so those are the two options, but I got to go with Trubisky, just like you were saying. It makes the most sense to me because he is under so much pressure this season. Why not just put him in at the start? I don't know if I agree with that whole tangent you went on about win now. I don't think that the Bears maybe they're aiming to do that, but I think the Bears will still have some good players in three years, for example. And I don't know if they're a Super Bowl team right now or if they should be aiming to do that. So that's why I think it wouldn't be that big of a risk if they started Trubisky first, saw how he did, and once he did badly, just like that, take him out and put in Foles. Now, down to who will start. I also think it'll be Mitchell Trubisky and not Nick Foles. I do not trust Ryan Pace to finally flip the switch and put in Nick Foles, who is probably better than Trubisky. And I'm saying he's better, even though I just said that Trubisky should start. I'm just saying that because I think that they should give him one last chance. And once he's done, like you were saying, he's out for, he's done with Chicago and he will probably not be re-signed with that five-year option. 
So who will get the starting job? I still think it's Mitchell Trubisky because Ryan Pace has too much dignity to back down from the player that he traded up to select over Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson to suddenly ditch all of that and go with Nick Foles. So at the start, he has to give Trubisky a shot. And that's why I think that Ryan Pace will give Mitchell Trubisky and Matt Nagy will give Mitchell Trubisky the starting job. So this is where I think you're wrong. When you talk about dignity, what did Ryan Pace do this offseason? Instead of keeping Leonard Floyd, the guy who traded up one pick to get a pick nine, he released him. Okay, did- before you go into all of this, let me just say, Trubisky is the face of this team, or at least the face of this offense. Nobody outside of the NFC North really knows or cares about Leonard Floyd unless you're a hard Bears fan. Everyone knows about Mitchell Trubisky. So nobody really cares when the Bears go releasing Leonard Floyd, especially because Floyd wasn't a terrible player. They released him more for money and defensive issues. As for Mitchell Trubisky, he is the ultimate Ryan Pace pick. Every, when you talk about when people talk about Ryan Pace's drafting abilities, they immediately point fingers to uh, the selection of Mitchell Trubisky. So while Ryan Pace has done some other things to cover up his previous bad picks, the one that he would want to stick with most is the one that people refer to the most, which is the Trubisky pick. Now, what I will say is that, you know what else they did this offseason? Release Trey Burden. They sent him to a big contract. You know what else they did this season? Release Taylor Gabriel, signed into a big contract. You know what else they did this season? Release Prince of Mukamara, signed into a big contract. All of those things still, all of those things are not as big, and no one blames Ryan Pace as much as Mitchell, as the drafting of Mitchell Trubisky. As I said before, Mitchell Trubisky is the ultimate Ryan Pace pick, so it makes sense that he would want to cling on to him more than any other player. I do agree that he is the ultimate Mitchell Trubisky pick. What I'm saying is, is that he has lost his dignity for what he's done. He doesn't care anymore. He wants to win at no at any cost. I hope so, but I'm not sure if that's the case. I think that when you look at what he's done this offseason, he's released and got rid of players that he brought in, that he was happy about bringing in. And it really just seems like he feels as though – he just feels as though he's there trying to, like I said, I know that the fans don't think that they're a Super Bowl team right now, but he does. He really does. You can tell by his moves. He thinks that the Bears are on the verge of breaking out. Well, breaking what would out. be moves that Ryan Pace would make that wouldn't signify that they were, that he thought that they were going to make Leonard a Super Bowl? Floyd, keeping Leonard Floyd, not signing to Sean Gibson and keeping Deion Bush, not trading for Nick Foles. So that all those players could progress. So in that a few years. Trubisky could progress. Deion Bush could progress. Understood. So that Leonard Floyd could progress. But he That's cares fair. more about them winning right now than he does about them winning in four years. Because honestly, he probably won't even be there in four years. Exactly. His job is on the line. Exactly. So my point is is that he's willing to do whatever is going to get him the most wins. And he knows that that putting in Nick Foles to begin with will most likely get him the most wins. Now, I'm not saying that I agree with that. I think that Trubisky, I think that Trubisky's high is getting more wins than Nick Foles' is high. But what I will say is that I think that Ryan Pace is more likely to put in Nick Foles because he feels as though Nick Foles can do the job better than Mitchell Trubisky and keep his job better than Mitchell Trubisky. If you enjoyed this episode of From the Den, Please remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Or, if you're a Packers fan, remember to dislike and leave a nasty comment. Click the links on the screen to access additional content.